legendary Rick Steiner. This is uh -huh. awesome, man. Welcome to South Florida. This Thank is, you. This is great. And I got to ask you about college, man. University of Michigan. Yeah. Go Blue. Good time. What Good was time. what was that like for you in making the decision? You were a standout amateur wrestler and making the decision. Okay, I'm going to Michigan. Well, you know, my brother was also, uh, you know, in the wrestling. He ended up going there too behind me. But we were two years apart in school. Um, it was a great time. I always wanted to go there because Bo was there and the helmets. Uh, it, 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 and being from Michigan, it was just the school I wanted. To, I went on some recruiting trips. And uh, Michigan just was the place I was going to be at. I, um, you know, sometimes I look back like, how the hell did I make that work? But it worked. I ended up going and uh, had a great, great career there. I loved it there. I had the best uh, four years of my life, you know, grow, going to school there. And I got a degree, ended up graduating. And, and, you know, I got a teacher certificate. And I taught school for a little while. And, just wasn't making a lot of money, went back to, to Michigan, ran some of the wrestling amateur camps. And uh, while I was at, I went to a Bo Schembechler uh, uh, football, uh, kind of a inspiration thing that he put on for all the statewide football coaches. Well, George Animal Steel was there. He uh, and the, my coach at that time was Steve Frazier. Him and Steve Frazier were, were good friends. Steve Frazier was an Olympic champion. So we went over, talked to him. He said, hey, you ought to get in wrestling. I said, I ain't doing that. There ain't no way. Short story, I taught school for a couple more months. Didn't make any money. Called him up. We sent my resume to Vern Gagne, and here I am. <laughs> That's an so, awesome story because, yeah, yeah so, George Mill Steele was coaching football yeah. in Michigan. He was an English teacher. He would coach football, and in the summer times, he would wrestle for Riz. That's awesome. Oh my. So, yeah, just small world. Did you ever think when you were doing amateur wrestling that, hey, maybe one day I can get to the Olympics, or was that like too far much of a dream? No, you know, as a kid, you always dream. You know, I, I went to the Junior Olympics, or, you know, did the Junior Olympic thing out in Squaw Valley, and got all kinds of, you know, but um, I went to the amateurs in my senior year, got a, a knee injury. The, Olympi the Olympics were a, kind of a dream, but it was a far off thing, and then life comes, takes hold of you, and you, you gotta make some money, you gotta make a living, you gotta do this, and so then your focus switches, and I just went into the business world and started working. When you were, at the height of your amateur career and then the height of your pro wrestling career. It's just amazing. What do you think made it work that the Steiner brothers became one of the greatest tag teams of all time? Japan, Canada, America, everywhere you guys went. It's just a legacy. Well, well the first thing is, is be able to have my brother and have him as a partner, knowing he's got your back. And knowing his style, knowing my style. And then, um, I think it's timing, just to where the business was at that time and everything. WCW was coming up, Turner was was paying big money, uh, the NWO thing was coming together. So I think there was a lot of things that played into that, but also I think it's my brother's and my style. It was, uh, we always took everything to that gray area. You never know if I, how hard I was really hitting him, or if that, man, that looked like it hurt. So. I think we prided ourselves on just, you know, taking it to that limit. And then we were always trying to come up with new things to do, different crazy stuff to do, because in this business, I think the crazier, the wild you are, and out of control, I think the better off, and, and the more people remember you, and, and, and you just make a statement. So, All right, last question yeah. for you. You're in real estate now, yeah. you're doing that, that's awesome, and I'm gonna throw this at you, because in answering the questions, MMA is such a big thing nowadays. Yeah. If MMA was as big back then as it is now, is that something you might have entertained doing? You know what, having the attitude that my brother and I had, you never know, you know, it's all, you always want to be the best at something. And when it first started coming around, a lot of the wrestlers were, you know, really good and being successful at the MMA stuff. So, you know, you never, it possibly could, you know, <laughs> but then that would have taken away from my professional career, so maybe that wouldn't have ended up, so it all worked out for the best. 
and I am gonna let you go, and I appreciate this time. Jim yeah. Harbaugh, what do you think of Jim Harbaugh and he's the job great, he's great doing? great coach, I love him. You know, it's great, you know, the Michigan tradition, Bo and all that stuff, for him to come back and then coach and make it all happen, it's, it's a great thing. And, and just fortunate for my brother and I to be around and go to school when he was there and, and, and be able to know him, so it's all a good thing. You're awesome, Rick Steiner, thank you so much. Thank you, sir, you have a great day.